a very nice gentleman named John. We, although we could video full star, full star, I would think, sure. right? I, 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 <laughs> then I'm gonna just get at the point. <laughs> recognize me as being pull start myself and he has a recoil start 12 horse Kohler what is that a k301 this all kind of got me thinking back to the days when I only had two wheel horses my second one was a c101 it was a 78 I want to say and it ended up basically getting torn apart in order to keep Putt-Putt running. Next thing you know, I needed a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And that is what happened to a complete running, functioning, pretty decent looking C101 wheel horse garden tractor. So what do we do? It's going to be a pull start, no battery, no frills, simple worker that I can just rip a rope, fire it up, have all the conveniences of a larger C-series tractor, a little bit longer frame, wheelbase, <clears throat> the larger drive pulley for the PTO, the larger drive pulley for the transmission, larger width belt, low speed, obviously, I like that. Just simple creature comforts, fenders, footrests, a high back seat. It just blows my mind how good and tight so many of these holes are how not worn they are i really feel like this did not have a whole lot of hours on it i feel like it was taken care of quite well as much as that front end is kind of under the dirt it is so solid so tight Well, like so many projects that I get going on, I made a lot of progress, but I forgot to film. So what I ended up doing was using some black appliance epoxy paint for the frame and most all the running gear. Transmission's been painted black the hubs, etc. And I put some massive tire chains on and these D-Stone 23850 tires. They're a little undersized for this tractor, but they are special to me as these are the first tires I ever bought for a garden tractor. They are fluid filled and heavy as can be. I added some four inch wide wheel weights and this thing is just a pig to push around. So I'm really excited to finish this up. I have this tractor prepped for bringing to the big show and we are going to assemble it there. I'm excited. I can't thank John enough. I think this is just gonna be a pretty sweet machine when we're done. His recoil is a little bit worn and it's very hard to find parts for a big block Kohler recoil and so I did grab a starter generator pulley off of another big block Kohler and it has the cutouts for a rope I'm just going to bring this along just in case I've got my PTO bell I've got my drive pulley for the transmission. I've got my 
PTO engaging hoop. And I have to grab some bolts to bolt the engine to the frame. I have to bring some J bolts because the big block engine only goes through the frame in one spot and some oil pans were tapped on the bottom to bolt through the frame, but this is not the case. So I'm going to have to basically clamp the engine on one side and bolt it on the other. Gonna have to bring a, a new carburetor because the one that's on that is a little bit worn, a little bit dirty. So we're just gonna bring the parts we need. I need to bring a muffler. And I'm really excited to have my first ever C101, my second tractor ever, back together. It just kind of became a donor piece by piece for other projects. And it went from a perfectly good running and operating machine to a pile of parts in my junkyard. So this thing deserves it, if you ask me. I don't know what I'll do with the dash yet. I don't know what I'll do with the shifter covers yet. That's kind of something I'll figure out along the way. I would love to have a throttle and a choke on the dash, but all of that's currently contained on the engine. So I don't mind since I basically have to be off it anyway to pull the recoil. I don't mind just reaching under the hood, flipping my switches, setting my throttle and jumping on to enjoy the tractor. Thanks for watching. See you soon on Polestar Stables. The last piece of the puzzle. That's gonna be so sweet. Ha <laughs> ha 